Now let's set up a HUD. So from here, I'm just going to create a new user interface and widget blueprint. So this is uh, we'll just call this the HUD and double click on that. So what I want is I'm going to throw in a text block. And what I want this text block to be is create a bind. So we've created a bind here. I'm going to get ammo full. Let's go cast to first person character which is this one here. So we're casting to this. And so what we're gonna do is here is we're going to get gun ammo full, and we want the return the value. So if we just expand that here, we'll see what the integer is and it'll print here. So if we come out back over to designer, it'll print in this text block. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna throw another text block in here. And all I want that text to be is a slash and let's just kind of line that back up. And I'm going to add in another text block. I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller, line it up as well, just so it's over the top. And I'm just gonna put in a value so we can kind of see, let's put in a value on this one, just so we can get the layout. Okay, seven. All right. And what we might do is we might line it up from the right because obviously if we've got more than one digit, it'll go backwards now. So this will be a bind again, create a new binding. And this will be get ammo remain. Okay. We're going to cast first person character. Um, I didn't do this in the last one, but we're going to go character Sorry, get, not character, get player, get player character. And we're gonna go back to the other HUD as well. Let's go back over to remain. Here we go, sorry. Uh, get player character. And let's go back over into full remain. They're both the same because I'm in the wrong tab. Let's cast um, get ammo remain and that'll print that. So now if I go compile, nothing is actually gonna happen. So we still got our numbers up in the top left, but nothing happens. So what we need to do is we need to come back into first person character and on event begin, I want to create a widget and the widget will be HUD. And then I want to display, uh, we want to add to viewport and we want to return that value and into there. So if we can compile play, seven of seven, zero. Beautiful. Let's see if we can be a little bit fancy right off the cuff as well. So let's go back into the designer and I want to add in another text box right in the middle, about there. Let's go bind, create binding. From here, I'm going to say branch and let's actually extend that a little, even a little bit further. Car, oops, sorry cast first person character and this will be get player character we want to know is the what do I call it gun so I want to see if gun empty is true so if gun empty is true gun empty is true I want to so at this point here, we actually could have kind of worked backwards. So we go true into there, uh, return value. We want to format text. And 
here I want to do press R to reload. So that means when gun empty is true, we are going to return the value of this text. So compile, play. Cool. Ah, beautiful. And there we go. We've done several things in this.